here with my 96 Jeep Grand Cherokee and I just finished replacing the water pump for talking too much. But that's in the past. My tiny project for right now is replacing the upper radiator hose because it's been leaking. And since I'm replacing the hose, I may as well replace the thermostat, which is buried under here. So let's get started. Jungle. The coolant has already been drained, so I'm going to work backwards and show you how to do the hardest part, which is removing the thermostat housing. It's held in place with two bolts and you'll need a 13 millimeter socket for removal. But they're in a tight spot located in between the AC compressor and alternator. So I'm using this 10 inch 3H drive swivel extension to make things easier. And I'll leave a link to the full set in the description below. I'm using a 24 inch flexible magnetic pickup tool that I'll also leave in the description. The thermostat can be tough to pull out, so I'm using this hook tool for removal. The new thermostat is a 195 degree replacement, AC Delco part number 12TP1E, and make sure you install this with the spring facing downward. I got the new hose from Advanced Auto Parts, Deco part number 71726. And the new thermostat housing came with a new gasket, AC Delco number 15-10673. And make sure you install the housing with this tab facing the front of the engine. To make reinstallation easier, I'll be using these small magnets. I'll leave a link to these in the description below as well. To purge air from the cooling system, jack up the front end and I'm wrapping this funnel with self-fusing silicone tape until the diameter fits the opening in the radiator. Cut the heat on full blast and add cooling. It may take 30 minutes but I consider the job done when the heat is blowing hot in the cabin. <laughs> 